Welcome to AzureTeach.net. In this video, let us understand the difference between scopes and roles with example. Just a few seconds of theory. A role is a mechanism to restrict the user's access on application, whereas scope is a mechanism in OAuth 2.4 to limit an application's access to a user's account. If you are an experienced developer, you might already be using roles from ages, but scopes are relatively new and they were introduced as part of OAuth 2.4. As Azure AD follows OAuth 2.4, we have scopes in Azure as well. Let us understand the roles with a simple example. So here, if you see, we have an application that is leave management system. So every employee in the organization can apply the leaves, but only the managers can approve the leave. So here we have only two endpoints. Uh, just to understand uh, the concept of roles easily. So here if you see employee can apply the leave. So uh, if any employee who is able to log into the application, he should be able to apply the leave. But here if you see this approve reject leave can be done only by the managers. So but if you see manager is also an employee, so he should be able to apply the leave. Generally, we mention the roles on top of the endpoint like this. So here we have this get matrix endpoint and this can be only be accessed by the person who has admin role. So if you have multiple endpoints in this controller and you want all those to be accessed by the admin only. So what you can do is you can simply copy this and put it on top of the controller. If you want to know more about role based authentication and authorization in Azure AD, the channel already have tons of videos. I'll put the links in the info symbol that is there at the top of this video. I have one client app registration that is Angular app and it subscribed to two API apps that is API one app and API app. And these are all the different scopes that we are going to discuss later. And API one app has two roles admin and team member and I have assigned them to Robert and API app has two roles manager and agent and I have assigned them to Robert. If you don't know how to configure all these things, you can find the related videos in the channel. So now the user Robert have two roles on API one app and two roles on API app. And let us generate an access token for this Angular app for API one app. So you have to gather some information to generate the token using the postman. So first you have to configure the callback or the redirect URL. So here I have configured that you can find this in the postman uh, that I'm going to show you later. And you have to take the endpoint from here, go to endpoints and here we have the OAuth 2.0 endpoint. You have to copy this and also you need this client ID. So I already configured all those details over here. So if you see here, I have added the authorized endpoint and later here the client ID. And here I have configured the scopes related to API one app, which are shown over here. We can discuss the scopes later, but these are needed to generate the token and see how the roles are embedded inside the token. And later you have to click on get new access token. You will be shown with a login screen. I have already logged in. So that's the reason it is directly giving the token. So after that, you can take this token and go to some site which decodes the JWT token. So here, if you see, it has a separate array of roles. So these two roles are specific to the application or the scope that we mentioned. And if we change this scope to the other API app, here we will get the other two roles related to that API app. Let me quickly do that and show you the output. Now I have generated the token using the scope related to the other API app and I am pasting it over here. So the previous one have roles admin and team member. 
now I'm pasting it over here and if you see here we have roles related to manager and agent and this is related to the scope which is related to the other API app and this is identified by the audience over here so this is the id related to the other api app so when the login is successful and if user tries to access this endpoint it will look into the jwt token that was generated after the authentication and it will see for the roles which are defined on top of this endpoint and based on that the authorized attribute allow the user to access this piece of code which is inside this application otherwise it will return unauthorized error now read the definition again role is a mechanism to restrict the user's access on application and that is what we are doing it over here we are restricting the user access using the roles so if the user have certain role then only the user can access this otherwise it will return unauthorized error this is a very small application created just for this demo but in real time you will have a very big application and you may have tons of endpoints and different roles please note that the roles can be assigned to the users and also the groups now let us discuss about the scopes in this demo you already had a glance of scopes but let us understand why they are required now let us generate the token for api1 app again this is needed to understand why scopes are required so i'm clicking on get new access token and it is asking for login now it is showing a consent screen and asking for user consent so why this is required so we are accessing angular app that is the front end application and in the back end it is accessing api1 app and this angular app needs these two permissions which are on behalf of user so what we are doing here is as the scope definition says we are restricting the application that is angular apps access on the user privileges so if the user don't trust this angular app this user will not log in and will not give the consent and this angular app will not get the access to access the api app generally you won't see this consent screen in the organizations because we mostly use the internal applications and admins gives the consent on behalf of user by granting the consent for entire default directory one more advantage is in organization a user can have any number of roles so if we add more roles over here that will increase the token size and that will not fit inside the http request header length so the token will bloat and will not work based on the scopes that we provide the access token will be generated so here if you see we have manager and agent which we generated for one api and here we have admin and team member those are related to the other api now let us understand this concept with a real time example here i was trying to create a doordash account using my facebook account so here it is showing me a consent like doordash is requesting access to your name and profile picture and email address so if i would like to provide all these details to doordash i'll continue otherwise i'll exit so here what i am doing i am using the scopes to restrict the access of doordash on my personal information and here the same with the samsung account i am trying to create a samsung account using my gmail credentials and here the google is asking for the consent like the samsung account need uh, to download my exact date of birth if i wish to continue i'll allow otherwise i'll not so here also we are restricting the samsung to access my personal data which is there inside my google account so that is what the real time use of the scope is if this video is helpful to you please like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to azureteach.net channel thank you